Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It has been a while, but I hope that every last one of you guys are happy, you're healthy, and you're doing well. I wanted to come in and share with you guys the products that I enjoy the most um, from Sephora. So you guys know the Sephora VIB sale is just a couple days away. So I wanted to get this out so I can share some of my favorite products with you guys. Um, I'm gonna look at my phone. I'll have it posted on the screen up here somewhere, but uh, just really quickly, I'll look at my phone just to tell you that. So any Sephora collection products that you purchase um, from April 5th through April 15th, it will be an extra 30% off. And if you guys shop Sephora brand, you know it's pretty reasonable already, but if you shop a Sephora brand, you will get an extra 30% off. So you definitely um, want to check out that deal. So April 5th, through the 15th is um, the Rouge members will get 20% off. And then from April 9th through April 15th, um, if you are a VIB member, you will get 15% off of your total purchase. And then finally, if you're an insider, they're going to give you 10% off. And that is from April 9th through the 15th. So guys, if you shop at Sephora, you know that um, whenever they have this sale, I think they have it two to three times a year. This is the time to stock up on any of your favorites or if you want to try something new. So I have a couple things that I want to share. I have a couple fragrances and then everything else is pretty much uh, makeup face products. All right, guys. So let's get started. So since we're going to be talking about makeup, we're going to start with our base um, and that would be your foundation. So I have a couple that I like to use and I also have a new one that I just brought that I would like to share with you guys. So the first foundation that I have is the Makeup by Mario Surreal Skin. And in this one, I have a number 21W. So this um, in the summertime is not a good match for me. It's a little bit too light. So I mix it with my other foundation. This is the Huda Beauty Stick, which I need to get a new one. Um, I am like really totally out of it. So that's the reason why I went and I brought another one. I'll show you guys um, what that one is. Um, in just a minute but this is really my go-to um, this is the Huda Beauty Stick and I am in the shade Mocha and this is pretty much my exact color so yeah so typically I will mix these two together this right here gives you a nice to me satin finish um, so if you are a girl that, you know, you like a satin finish, then this Makeup by Mario foundation would be a good choice. This one right here, this is the Huda Beauty Stick, as I mentioned before. This one also gives me a satin finish. I kind of like that, but I like this stick because it's not messy. You know, I don't have to, if I wanted to, I can just put this on my face or put it on my fingers or put it on my face with my fingers and um, then blend it out and it doesn't get really messy. So that's the reason why I like a foundation stick. But the Makeup by Mario, this is giving skin. Like if you want a more natural look, then I would recommend you guys give the Makeup by Mario um, a try. And so then I mentioned to you guys that I just recently brought a new foundation and that new foundation is the NARS. This one right here is the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation, and I am in the color Macau. So this one is really, really nice, guys, and it um, the wear on it is really good. So for someone who, in my opinion, who's starting to have like aging skin like me, I'm a little older now, so I want something that's going to bring a little bit of luminosity to the skin. So this one right here is really good for that if you have like more mature or aging skin. So I've worn this a couple times and I really do like it, guys. So yeah, this is the NARS and they do have two different ones. So this is the one that I got and this is the um, this is the light reflecting one. And then they also have another one. I can't think of the name of it, but I will link it right here so that you guys can see it. Um, but they're both really nice. I had a sample of the other one, but I decided, you know, like I said, for my agent skin, that this one would probably be a better choice. And so I did, I got this one and I really like it. So, so far, so good. Okay, guys, so next thing we're going to go into, um, since we were just talking about the base of our face, which is the foundation, we're going to go into um, concealers for the under eye. So I have two um, that I got from Sephora. 
This one right here is the NARS um, concealer, and I use this under my eyes. Both of these I use for under my eyes. And I am in the color Walnut in this one. Um, I like this a lot. This is full coverage. And the second one that I use is from Natasha Denona. This is a new one. I really, really like this. I feel like this one right here does not crease. It does not budge um, after wearing it for at least like six to eight hours. Typically, when I put concealer under my eyes, um, because again, I am starting to have, you know, aging skin, it'll start to crease and just kind of look a little cakey. But this one right here, um, I really, really enjoy this. I will put the color that I have um, on the screen right here because I can't see it on the packaging, but I really, really like this one, guys. This one is really, really good. Um, for me, it does increase. Of course, I set it with a powder and I'll show you guys, um, you know, my powders and everything, but this one is really good. I really enjoyed it. So the next thing we're gonna talk about is bronzers. So I enjoy a really nice bronzed, look especially like in the summertime so i'm going to show you guys i picked out a couple out of my collection that um i really reach for the most so this one right here is um charlotte tilbury right here this is a big pan guys let me see if i can show you guys like how big this pan is this pan is going to last me forever and I've actually had it for a while. And I use this pretty much every time um, I do my makeup. I use this and I just kind of bronze around the sides of my face, the perimeters of my face. And then I do a little bit here on the cheeks and then I put a little bit here. This right here is highly pigmented. You do not need a lot. Um, this girl right here will give you just like, just tap it. Just a just lightly tap it in the pan um, on your brush because it is really pigmented um, and you don't need a lot. So this right here, like I said, it's going to last me a long time. And this is the Charlotte Tilbury um, Airbrushed Bronzer. Guys, this is really good. So I also put this in the creases of my eye. I don't wear a whole lot of eyeshadow anymore. Occasionally I do, but this is pretty much my go-to like every day or even like if I'm going out um, just take a little brush and just put it pop it in the crease works really good guys and the color payoff like I said you don't need a lot of this this is um, probably one of my favorite bronzers and I I do have a couple more but this is the one that I've been reaching for for the last couple months so guys if you guys um, want to get your hands on this one Charlotte Tilbury she makes really good products um, this is one of my favorites by her and speaking of Charlotte Tilbury this is another one of her products this is the airbrush flawless finish powder I love this this is a little mini pan um, but I've had this for well over six months if I, I do recommend, like, if you just want to try something during the VIB sale or whatever, um, try some of the mini sizes. Like, this is really good. I typically use this um, to try to contour the size of my nose. I, I just use, like, a little angle brush, and I put this on the side of my nose to contour my nose. Also, it's good to use as a bronzer. Um, this one, in the pan, it looks kind of light, but I have this in the shade Dark. But when it's actually going on my skin, um, let me see if I can swatch it for you. Yeah, when you swatch that, it looks a lot darker than it does on the pan in the pan. So for me, this is a good bronzer. You can use it around the perimeter. I typically don't use it in that way, but you definitely definitely can. Um, in the past, I have used it, you know, as my bronzer around the perimeters and the cheeks um but right now i'm typically loving this to contour my nose it comes out really nice and natural so this is a good product too guys charlotte tilbury um her products are highly pigmented so you don't really need a whole lot so again um charlotte tilbury for the win the last bronzer that i want to talk about is the fenty beauty and this one is in mocha mommy and this one is a little bit more a little bit more red so i don't use this a whole lot but um typically it is still one that i do reach for more than some of the other ones that i have but because it has a little bit more red in there than i'd like i typically use this 
um, to use as the eyeshadow in the creases of my eyes. But again, this is the Fenty Beauty um, in the shade Mocha Mommy. And that's the bronzer that I like to use as well. All right, guys. So since we're talking about bronzers, I am going to share with you um, my contour stick. This is also from Fenty Beauty. And this is their match stick. This is a contour stick. And the color that I have this in is espresso. So this is what it looks like when you take that cap off of there. And I use this around the perimeter. So I go in with, once I put my foundation on, I go in with this stick and I just put it on the perimeters of my face and then right here on my cheeks to contour and then I blend that out. And then I'll take one of those bronzers to um, top it off with. But I really love this, guys. I've had this for, for quite a while. And when it's gone, I'm probably going to re-up. So this is an espresso. Um, it is nice, smooth, and creamy. Um, it blends out really, really well. I typically use a Sephora um, brush for that. And I wish I would have brought it in here, but I didn't want to do brushes in this video. But Sephora has really good brushes. So if you are in need of a brush, I would say... If you are in need of makeup brushes, now will be the time to check out the Sephora brand um, brushes. And again, you get 30% off. And guys, I'm going to link, I will try to link everything that I'm talking about um, underneath the video. So that way, once you go on Sephora, it's going to take you, you click on it, it's going to take you exactly where you need to go so you don't have to search. Okay, so let's move on to the next thing. And this right here is one of my newer products and I fell in love with it. It was definitely um, a recommendation that was given to me and it is a great one. It's a good one, guys. Okay, so this is the Danessa Myricks uh, Yummy Skin Balm. Guys, this right here is so good. I'm in the color 8.5. So this guy can perform a bunch of different tasks at once. So I'm going to show you. This is what it looks like in the pan. And again, this is shade 8.5 for me, which is um, my skin tone. But it's nice and smooth. That's what it looks like. And it just melts into the skin. Like you, you can't really see it on my hand because it just kind of just melts into the skin. But I'm going to tell you, this is so good and what I use it for. So once I do my skincare right before I do my makeup, um, I, after I put my primer on, I go in and I put this all over my face. Um, not too much under the eyes because again, you know, we don't want a whole bunch of cakiness under the eyes. But I just buff it in with a nice... Um, buffer brush and then that's kind of like another primer for me and then I lay my foundation on top of it so this is a multitasker you can use it as a primer you can use it as a coverage booster to put on like I said like I'm using it right now under my foundation and then um, just put a light a light a light layer of it on and then you put your foundation on top it helps to blur and smooth the skin and also they claim that this will help to balance out your oils throughout the day, you know, once you're wearing your makeup throughout the day. So, but I like this, I like this a lot. And again, I'm in color 8.5. Um, this is a really nice product, guys. And this is from Danessa Myricks. So the next thing we're going to go into is a highlighter. Listen, I love a good highlight, especially in the summertime. If you have a good one, it just, it makes your cheeks look like there's a special glow, like just coming from within. So I have a couple, I have three that I'm going to talk about that you can find at Sephora. Um, and this one is my oldest one. This is from Milk. And this is, this is from Milk Makeup. And this is their highlighter and it's called Lit. And that's what it looks like. And it's just nice and creamy. And this is from Milk Makeup. Um, this is one that I just kind of tap on. I'll squirrel it with my fingers and I just kind of tap it on the high points of my cheeks. And that'll give me a nice glow. And then this is another um, highlighter that I like. This one is from Charlotte Tilbury. Show you guys that. And once you take the top off, it has like a little sponge there. You open it up and then I just dab it on my cheeks like two, no more than three times. No more than three times because it'll be way too much. Or you can dab this on your hand. Let me show you guys. 
So it comes out like that. And then once you blend it in, I normally just pat it in. I pat it in. And this is a golden highlighter. And it will melt right in your skin. Typically when I use a highlighter, most of the time, I will then go in with this. This is another um, product from Fenty. And this is the Kilowatt. Highlighter and this one is in the color afternoon snack and mo honey. So typically I use um, afternoon snack because the mo honey one, the mo honey one, um, it has it's it's a little bit of a chunky glitter and I'm not a huge fan of like a chunky glitter like on my face. So I use this one right here. Let me show you guys. And then I'll show you the. So the last, these two right here. So this right here is the afternoon snack. And then this one right here is the Mo Honey. I normally go for the afternoon snack. If I'm wearing one of the other ones that I showed you guys, and I use this as a topper, it's kind of like a powder finish. So just to kind of set it. So to set the other one. So yeah, Fenty Beauty. This is a good one. Okay, guys. Okay, guys, so now we're going to talk about uh, face powders. I just have two. Um, the first one I want to talk about is the OG Laura Mercier. This is um, been out for a while. This is considered, in my opinion, an OG. Um, but I have the Translucent Honey. Because she has one, the original one, I believe, is just the um, translucent powder. But that one is just white. So if you can see this one here, it has like a little tint like a brown tint there. So I like this one. This is the honey one. And um, I typically, you can use this, of course, for all over face powder. I'm gonna try to open this without making a mess so that you guys can see it. This is a loose powder. Um, I typically use this, if, I'm, if I am baking, um, I'm using this under my eyes to bake. Um, I don't do a lot of baking because, again, I don't wanna use products that's gonna make, to, to dry me out. I don't wanna use a lot of products so again, I don't want to use products that's going to make me look drier. So when I'm using this, because this is finely milled, um, and it's a really, it's a good one. This is one of my all-time favorites. This is the Sephora Micro Smoothing Powder. And this, they say, is a dupe for the MAC um, face powder, press powder. This is actually my second one. And um, this is a Sephora brand. So again, 30% off. This would be a good time to try this one. I love this. This is my favorite, one of my favorite um, press powders. So I am in the color Ebony in this. This is what I use. And this I use this as my finishing um, powder on a big fluffy brush. Or you can use a powder puff and just kind of once you've done all your makeup, you can just kind of use that puff and get it into the skin. Most times when I use this, I typically use a brush, a big fluffy brush, and then I just kind of buff it into the skin. But this is a good product, guys. If you had to pick um, an inexpensive face powder um, to try, I would definitely recommend this one because it's already fairly reasonable price, and then you're going to get 30% off. So I'll link that below so you guys can check this out. Again, I am in the shade Ebony in this pressed powder. This is so good. So I hope you guys are still with me. If you are, you are a real one. All right, guys. So we're going to keep moving along. Right now, we're going to get into blush. Let me know in the comment section below if you're a blush girl. I love blush. I, I really do. I love it. Um, I like my favorite color in a blush is an orange blush. I feel like orange just looks so pretty on brown skin. So I have three blushes that I'm going to talk to you guys about. And of course, you can get them all from Sephora. So the first one is this Rare Beauty by Miss Selena, Selena Gomez, um, Rare Beauty. This is a good one. This is in the color Love, and it is a orange blush, and I love it. And that's what the applicator looks like. I just dab it like two or three dabs on the top of my cheeks, or you can also put a little bit on your hand and take a... Um, a blush brush and dab it on your hands and then you can put it on the skin like that 
Um, that is actually a good method that I've recently started to do, but you can also just take that applicator and put it on the skin and then just kind of pat it in with your finger. This is very, very pretty. So again, Rare Beauty, um, and this is in the color Love. So check that one out, guys. And the packaging is so pretty, so pretty. So the next two blushes, these are from the Sephora line. This one is called Fascinated. And again, it's another orange blush. But um, this has a little bit of shimmer uh, reflex in it. This is cute. If you don't really want to wear like a highlighter, you can just put this blush on because it does have some shimmers in it. And it's really pretty. Put that on with a nice blush brush. And then this one right here is also um, Sephora brand. And this is one of their duo blushes. The name of this blush is called Snapdragon. Right there. And that's what Snapdragon is looking like. It's so cute. So I kind of squirrel it together. And I mix those two colors together. Put it on my cheeks. And this is a pretty combo. Or you can just use each color individually. But yeah. Sephora brand, they have nice products, guys. If you have not tried the Sephora brand line, definitely give it a go. All right, guys, so once you finish your makeup, of course, you're going to need something to set it, right? You don't want to take all that time making your face up and then you go outside, especially if it's hot, if it's humid, and your makeup just falls off your face. We don't want that, right? We want our makeup to stay on all day. So these are two um, setting sprays that I really enjoy. I've tried a lot of different setting sprays, but these are the two that I'm using right now. So this one right here is the one size on till dawn. This one right here, it sprays like kind of like a hairspray. This right here is going to lock in your face. Like your face is not going to go anywhere once you set it with this baby right here. But so typically I use these two together. This one right here is the Urban Decay All Nighter, the original. Um, this is an OG for me. This has been out for a long time. Um, so I really enjoy this one. So I, what I do is once I'm done or mostly done with my makeup, I will spray it with the all nighter setting spray. Um, because this one, it doesn't really mattify me so much. And then once I'm completely done, then I'll use the one size beauty, um, on till dawn. And then I'll finish it with this one right here. So guys, these are the two that I'm enjoying right now. Um, Urban Decay, All Nighter, and then there's the One Size Beauty on Till Dawn. Love, love, love these two together. All right, so we're about to be finished. This is the last thing as far as face, and then we're going to go into, I just have a couple of fragrances that I really, really enjoy that if you want to try any of these or if you just want to try a new one, now is the time, guys, so you can take advantage of um, their discount. So, but before we get into that, make sure that you guys are commenting below. Let me know what your favorite makeup product is. Let me know if you're going to shop the sale. And if so, let me know what you're going to get. Um, or if you have suggestions for me, let me know because I might want to shop the sale too, guys. Right, last but not least, we want to talk about a couple lippies that you can get from Sephora. Um, so I'm going to start off with... My Fenty Beauty Gloss. This is by Fenty Beauty, and this is called Glass Slipper. Um, this is a nice clear gloss, nice and thick, um, that I like to wear for every day or even going out. It gives you a nice um, glossy finish to the lips. So I really like this one. Also, another one by um, Fenty Beauty that you might enjoy is called Sweet Mouth. That one is really good, too. I actually think I feel like I, I like that one better than this clear gloss. But, of course, a clear gloss will go with any lip color that you put it with. So, yeah, Fenty Beauty. And I wanted to also mention two of the Sephora lip stains. It's called Pretty Auburn. And I use this as a lip liner. So this is good for a lip liner and this will stay on for a long time. These stay on for a very, very long time. This color right here is called Plum Aurora. Um, this is like a pinky, purpley color. More like, kind of reminds me of like magenta. This is cute. When I wear this one, I get a lot of compliments on this right here. And I normally um, wear it with this as a liner. This one right here, the Pretty Auburn as a liner or um, MAC Chestnut as a liner but this is really cute looks really cute 
um, against our skin. Brown skin tone looks really, really cute. And then also Sephora has a nice line of lip liners. These guys are really, really good. I highly recommend you guys, if you have not tried the Sephora lip liners, try these guys. They glide on so nice and so smooth and they stay on for quite a while. So I have a couple. Um, I got these, I believe, well, I got three of these, I believe, um, the last VIB sale they had. And so um, my favorite though, that I wear the most is this one right here. And this is in the color, I believe it's Rouge. This is the color Rouge. If not, I will link it up here. But this one right here, um, I like to wear with my red lipstick. I have a couple different red lipsticks that I like to wear. One is from Milani. Um, that one is really, really nice, guys. That's a drugstore brand. But um, And then another one is Ruby Woo. This liner goes really cute with those. And it will help for your lip to stay um stay on for a very long time so guys try the sephora liners um they're pretty reasonable and again you get 30 percent off so why not okay so guys that is it for the makeup products really quickly i want to go through um just a couple of my fragrances that i think that you guys would enjoy and again this is the best time to get them right so let's get started Okay, so the first one I want to talk about, this one is called Vanilla Woods, and it's by The Seven Virtues. So I am halfway through this bottle. I really love this, guys. This is a nice uh, vanilla scent. If you like vanilla, try The Seven Virtues. Um, no, I have another one that I got for Christmas um, from this brand, and it's Pear. I don't get as much use out of that one as I do the vanilla, but this, guys, right here... Seven Virtues, uh, Vanilla Woods. This is good. If you're a vanilla girly, I highly recommend this one. Um, as you can see, I the juice is almost gone out of this bottle. This is one of my favorites. This is Valentino, Born in Roma. Guys, this smells so, so good. Mm, I get a lot of compliments when I wear this fragrance. Um, sometimes I will mix this with... Um, my YSL, that's another one that I could have put on this list. Um, the YSL Mon Paris smells really good. But this right here, this is really good. So if you guys are uh, looking for a new fragrance, I feel like this is um, like a grown and sexy. This is giving grown and sexy vibes. Um, so this is Valentino Born in Roma. So the third one that I wanted to mention is the Tom Ford Lost Cherry. This smells amazing. I can't tell how much I have left in this bottle, but I've had it for a while. Um, all of Tom Ford's fragrances that I've smelled are really, really nice, and they last a long time. So um, this one is probably the most expensive bottle of perfume that I own personally, but this will last on your body for a very long time and even longer on your clothes. So it's called Lost Cherry. So if you like that sweet, um, I wouldn't I wouldn't even call this fruity. It's sweet. But I feel like men and women, uh, I think this is a unisex uh, fragrance. So men and women can use this, um, wear this. I mean, with any fragrance, you know, men or woman can use whatever they like. But I think this is a unisex uh, fragrance. But Tom Ford Lost Cherry, this is good. It's going to stay on for quite a while. Okay, guys, so the last fragrance that I'm going to mention so we can get out of here is my Prada Paradox Intense guys this one right here this smells so good mm. this smells so good guys i'm gonna say this one right here this smells so good this smells like somebody's rich auntie guys oh my god this smells so good this is one of my newer fragrances i got this one um for christmas I brought this for myself as a Christmas gift and it does not disappoint. This is very grown and sexy. Like I said, this is giving off rich auntie vibes, guys. So if you're looking for something that's going to smell good, the lasting power on this is pretty good too. I highly recommend you guys give this a try or go into Sephora and, you know, any of these. Just, just take a little sniff, see if it's what you're liking. But this is one of my favorites, guys. This bottle smells so good this is one that i'll keep in my purse and when it's time for me to like freshen up 
this is it right here. So this one right here is Prada Intense, Paradox Intense, guys. So yeah, guys, that is the end of my Sephora um, recommendations for you guys. I hope that you guys will shop the sale. I will link everything below as much as I can. So if you're interested in anything that I mentioned or if you have any questions about anything that I mentioned, let me know below. Um, everything will be linked below. So if you are interested in any of the things that I mentioned to you guys, you can just click the link below. It's going to take you directly there. And I hope that you guys have a wonderful shopping experience. Let me know if you guys decide to go. Let me know what you got. Also, let me know what I need to get because I'm going to do a little shopping too. Let me know some recommendations, what I'm looking for right now. Probably not so much makeup, but what I want, I'm always, I'm always in the mood for a new fragrance. So if you have a fragrance that you would like to recommend let me know tell me in the comment section what fragrance i need to get next because why not shop the sephora sale guys because these only come around a couple times a year and again if you shop sephora line products you're going to get an extra 30 percent off so make sure you also look at those brushes i do have a couple brushes guys but i didn't want to make this video too long it's already extremely long but i hope this was helpful all right guys i'll see you guys next time bye